Hey guys, I'm Gentle Occasion, and today we are carrying on with. I was gonna say Gladius. I was, I was gonna, I was so close to saying Gladius, but I didn't. I have never said Gladius. Zephon, we're playing Zephon um, as the uh, practical, romantic. That's the one. I usually forget the word practical and and uh, remember the word romantic. I almost Ain't got no it the other way around. Um, maybe I'll remember them both one day. Both words. That'd be good. So yeah, we are. I don't know actually. Um, I just I load up the game again. Um, it's a new session, so I do want to get missile teams, for sure. Missile teams would be great. We are working on research in the Hollow Theatre, and we're getting an extra hab block. So I need to really slow down with the, uh, the trees. I've been just pumping all of the, you know, the meat bonuses into our settlement. But actually, um, they do stock up. They do, they do just sort of stock up, so we don't want to overfill. So we should only really use the charges of that when we need the population, um, rather than ahead of it, because we're just losing loyalty out of it. It's fun just being like, look at our population go up, but actually we do need to be a bit more careful of that. And I think I'm going to start being more careful of that. Um, there is one position here that we can sit on, um, but the fact that it's it's difficult to get to, I am wondering if I want to pull these guys back. Uh, and these guys, actually. I don't really like the fact that this is in the way of reinforcement coming from this direction. Um, and it is near their settlement. They could easily just trap us trying to get around here. Um, and I think this might be stretching too far out. So I, I am thinking maybe we need to rein it in. Because we have done some exploration, and the fact that we have a couple of these things um, that are getting us some extra hit points. We've got the meat tree. You know, we've got a couple of meat trees. Maybe I can just hold this. Maybe this is what I try and do. Maybe I don't fall back from here, but maybe I just don't push out to this other meat tree. Maybe I just sit tight here and try and hold it. Maybe that's the way to go. Maybe it is. Because I kind of want to fight these guys, but I am worried we're not going to have enough to do that for a while. Uh, we're going to need, like, I'd say, like, three missile teams, I think, um, along with all of the infantry that we can see here to, like, destroy this in... in you know, a quick enough, quick enough way that I'm not just like fighting this really atricious fight that's gonna stab us in the back when someone else comes and kills us. You know, I, so we've got to be careful because I am actually playing on a higher difficulty than I've ever played Zephon on. So you know, that's unfortunate. I don't like that much. We have to pull our militants back. Uh, more hammerheads. I really love the hammerheads. I think they're such a cool-looking unit. And I think it's really interesting that they are, I think they're only a hostile unit. Hello, Jace. Hello, Captain America. I feel like this guy is kind of like a, a Captain America type. He's, um, you know, he's been through some stuff, but he's come out of it being like actually finding uh, life to be quite precious. That's the vibe I get from him, though I haven't read his intro in a very long time. So maybe he's a complete lunatic like... I think most people probably are in this world. But anyway, no time for niceties, not while I'm men are in combat. I'm Jace. Those who stand by me, no, I do right by them. No, I always will shield them. But those who stand against me, we've wars to fight, monsters to kill, and miles to go before we sleep. I could do this all day. Not in favor of fruitless death, but war done right. War with a clear sight of a clear foe. That I can live with. Your stand with Jace has increased because of our war with the chief deaths. Okay. Let's do this together. Uh, we too, of all the monsters in this world, we shouldn't be fighting. No one gains by it. Your standing has had a major impact on this decision. Our high standing. I don't know what that really means. Um, our high standing. Um, <laughs> who knows? Uh, I mean, we could just accept peace with him, you know? I think. I think that's good. I think that's actually good. I think that's a good one. Um, I think... So I think our character, right? I think our character um, is a... So someone actually commented, which I think was actually a really good comparison. Um, <laughs> they said that he sounds like... Uh, you know, our character, the character we're playing as, is like a Negan-type character from The Walking Dead. So just kind of like, you know, I do right by my guys, but he's actually just like a massive fascist. Um, I think that's actually where we are. I think that's who we are. It's like, oh, we got to bring humanity through, you know, but it's it's you know, whatever it takes, it's, it's whatever it takes to, you know, make him comfortable with things. Um, I think he's an awful person. I think I think we might be playing as a, as a horrible fascist, which makes sense, because, um, you know, I'm channeling out, I'm, out like, Gladius 
um, brain for this game, so we are going to be quite ruthless. But I, I think the idea of us being like xenophobic, you know, bring people together. If this guy crosses me, we'll crush him. But while he's like, yeah, humans united, you know, all of us versus the alien, you know, very much us versus them mentality. I think that's something that our our guy would adopt. Because um, that's the thing, we're, we're up to the point where it's kind of diplomacy now, right? We need to figure out what the hell everyone is about. Let's offer a map exchange. Okay. Yeah, they have limited knowledge, so they're happy to do that. And, yeah. I think that's all I can do for now. So tributes are interesting. Sorry, trade agreements are interesting, rather. They will actually cost you resources initially, and then they start to make you resources. So the longer you can be in a trade agreement with someone, the better it is for you, which is really, really cool. I think that's really fun um, as a concept. So it's a bit of an investment initially to sort of set up those trade lanes and things. Uh, which, yeah, I find is really charming. I think this would be really good in a game like Total War as well, if there was a negative to forming, you know, a trade alliance with someone initially. I think that'd be really cool. Because, you know, it means it wouldn't just be a, a no-brainer. It would just be, oh, I'll just trade with everybody. Um, now, it's uh, the only time you don't is like, well, I might want to fight him soon, so I won't trade. So that's kind of the only thing. So I like this. I think it's a, a cool mechanic. Um, but I don't think I want to do it yet. Because I have a feeling I'm going to butt heads with this guy. I think he's going to have different... Okay, someone else is saying hi. Because uh, we just met them. But... It looks like there's another empire down here. So hang on. Did Jace meet this guy? This? Oh, Jace might have traded maps. I think... So yeah, look. There's, there's a bunch of these... Um, Anchorite city. So I think he traded maps with the Anchorite, and they've then traded maps with us. So we have Anchorite's map. So we've met these guys now. So we know who is on our border. But yeah, let's talk to him. You interrupt me. Okay, the heartless artificer. This is one of the cyber um, leaders. Ah, my latest obstacle. Welcome. You should know who I am, who you are fighting against. I am a secret of perfection, notably the perfection of the human form, which I, I think our guy might have that in common with her. But you know, diff. Think, might think about it a bit differently. My chosen path is straightforward, but it does require a painful amount of dedication. Rejoice when you hear the screams. However, for you know my empire is growing ever more ideal. You are oh dear. They like the reward with the uh, anchorite, which makes sense. Not all components are salvageable. Some pieces are frankly only fit for the trash or the smelter. Saying, uh, yeah, some pieces like anchorite pieces. I will not beg you. Very a lot of xenophobia, which, you know, kind of tracks, you know, that Anchorite did show up and basically destroy humanity, um, chasing Zephon, so, you know, gonna put sour taste in your mouth. I'm sorry, Gabal, and I would have you attend. Uh, perhaps even read your, uh, your doggerel. What's a doggerel? I'm sure someone will tell me. I'm sure a lot of people will tell me in the comments. Of course, you'll need to call the armies off first. Your powerful military. Uh, we have a powerful military right now. And consider their military to be powerful, so that's good. Uh, so we can accept peace with them too. What do you need of me? So all these pieces will probably break over time, right? A lot of them will, um, because there'll be certain actions that'll just cause them to dislike us. Whether it's you know taking on different, you know, different foes that they've they've got treaties with, or you know, there's certain ideological leanings with this game. There are certain things that they like that they, you know, that other people don't. Like, these people like that we're at war with the um, Anchorite, for instance, because they just generally don't like the Anchorite. Um, but we might do something else that they they are suddenly annoyed by. It. Like, we might fight Zephon, and they'd be like, how dare you? Zephon is, you know, a, a source of knowledge for us or something. So they might get annoyed by that. So, um, you know. Uh... I don't think I want to exchange more maps. I don't want to have too much distance explored just yet, because we're going to keep meeting new factions, and as soon as we meet factions, they're likely to start sending units to come fight us. So um, we found an Akrin crash site. So um, yeah, the the Akrin had those ships that you see in the starting cutscene, the big upside down pyramid, and those big like shards, you know, big things that look like this around it. Oh, and I learned because of the because um, uh, of actually building the thumbnail. <laughs> for this series, one of the pieces of art for the game is called Fulcrum, and it's it's the um, I think Fulcrum was what they called the like initial invasion, um, that sort of like rapture style thing from the cutscene. I think was Fulcrum. I think you know um, the Akron turned up, and then all the people basically died in an instant. I think that was Fulcrum. I think that's what that's referring to. I think, possibly. I know it's. 
It's tough to know all this stuff, but that's kind of the point, right? It wants to be a little bit cryptic. So every time you thought the last Akron ship had crashed from orbit, another would light up the skies. It burned up in Atmo. The Akron looted them to reclaim pieces of their homeworld. The humans raided them to steal their technology. And Zephon? Well, we still don't know what Zephon wanted. I just know we had to fight it for our share. Okay, cool. That's... I mean, this is kind of cool, the Anchorite have got that, you know, as part of their settlement. It makes sense they deploy next to, you know, a, a trove of artifacts from their home. Uh, a crystal basin. Mineral-rich mining hubs didn't just make for good resource hubs, they also provided plenty of cover. We learned to build fortresses in regions like these and use them to harden our borders. Sure, they became high-value targets when our enemies wanted to hit our supply lines, but to lay the best traps, you need the best bait. And, uh, yeah, Jace has that. Very cool. I really love the, the all the unique resources and things. We also found a river. I mean, that's just rivers, isn't it? Every predator on Earth knew that you will find your prey at their weakest when they search for water. And prey species know that when they seek water, they risk being hunted. You'd do well to make yourself the predator. But if you find yourself as the prey, remember that crossing the rushing water will slow down most hunters. Very fun. Just, like, something as simple as, like, a river. You don't need a description of a river, but it still explains it in a way that, like tells you of its its sort of tactical, you know, its sort of in-game purpose um, as a tile, which I kind of like. So the text is still trying to figure out who built these. The architecture's human, but we haven't found any survivors who took credit for building them. Zephon doesn't need these to see, and the Akron survivors never liked staying in one place. It was eerie. We used these towers to get to the high ground and watch our enemies, but they always left you feeling like someone else was watching you. Interesting. Interesting. So, um, yeah, that will give us a big line of sight um, over the surrounding area. Uh, as will this one. There's a couple of watchtowers. Interesting they feel like they're in a line. It feels like this was part of, like, a, a network of beacons or something. You know? That's just how it's fallen on the map. Like, the world gen, you know, will put these things randomly. But it sort of feels like it suggests that. Which I like. I really like when games accidentally suggest something, you know? Um, or maybe accidentally on purpose. Who can say? But yeah, cool stuff. Also discovered water. Water still course through the planet's arteries. The fact that it has to like make a big deal out of finding a water tile is um, kind of a big deal. It's a feature. It's not a given anymore. It's kind of like, oh my god, it's water. Look at that. Water still course through the planet's arteries and was still the key vessel in making life. Even the cybernetic creatures of our new world needed water-cooled facilities. A grim tragedy uh, then that though all the warring factions respected the waterways, our escalating conflict would poison them for future generations. It's just all there is. Just this little... Wow. And what's this? Particle barrier. No other shielding behaved uh, the way the Crypt Archive's particle barrier could. Alright. Shields normally needed a power source. I lost too many soldiers trying to keep that power online. These barriers, they just worked. Maybe the particles were the power source, drawing energy from within and clustering to catch incoming fire. It was otherworldly. Okay, this gives a big... Damage reduction for ranged weapons. And I think that's something they might have deployed. I think they might have deployed that. Which is interesting. Really cool. Really cool. Did we have that when we played the cyber demo? I think maybe we did, but I can't entirely recall. No such thing as safe I think I think it might have been one of one of the units could deploy that, I think. I think. No such thing as safe anymore. Mayhaps. Uh, I think that's probably fine. I think I'll leave you guys where you are for now. Uh, these militants. I do wonder if I want to get to that watchtower. Uh, so that's volcanic, but it isn't fire. Ah. Alright, that could be a bit of a problem. These guys have... Yeah, they're all melee. So just standing there might be the best course of action. Because uh, they might not attack us, they might attack us, but I would like to get to that watchtower and maybe grab that cache. It's a human cache, so you might even find a vehicle in there. That, that would be good. That would definitely be good. And yeah, I think you guys just need to sit tight for now. Uh, I need to get this guy out of there. I need to get this guy the heck out. Okay, good. Alright, and if we travel through here, we should be okay. Right. Uh, I think I also need him to come this way. I'm worried that if I stand there, it'll stir up trouble. Maybe just getting down here would be good. That way I'm close enough that I can move forward if I need to. But at least I'll be keeping an eye on things around here. Because, yeah, I was thinking of pushing up this way, wasn't I? 
But um, I think we just need to work on our tech and, you know, build our, build our city out. But actually, if I look at this, Hollow Theatre, I can do Engineers next, which I think I will. I think I want to start building more cities. I think I want to start building more cities. I really don't want to fall behind that curve. It doesn't look like anyone else has built another city yet. But with the meat trees, we can populate it really quickly. Which would be really powerful for us. Okay. Oh, you guys are getting shot to bits. Uh, they look like we could kill them easily. A scintilla of hope. Your people hoped they would return to the surface and find unintended wilderness, not a world of monsters and vile Zephon machines. Reports regularly come in of refugees who wandered too close to the Warden's territory and were slaughtered for their trespass. What is Zephon doing in there? Ironically, it is the monsters who know something about the machines. Your comms team is surprised one day to hear the voice of an Akron leader, the anchorite broadcasting on an old AM radio frequency. He sounds like a preacher whose voice would have once uh, haunted the airways of the empty countryside. In his sermons, he proclaimed that he, uh, his people want peace, to seek a new future without the voice, he says, to know it was the voice who hunted humans, who hunted Zephon, not my people. His preaching sometimes descends to rambling. He mumbles about mysterious factories, belching fire and smoke into the night. He mourns his people slain by the wardens who guard them. Uh, so are his people in... Uh, are, are a bunch of Akron being held in, like, camps by the Zephon? It kind of feels like that might be the case. Hmm. Grim. To want peace, simple peace, peace must light up the land like the sun rising over a glimmering ocean, the anchorite intones. You listen to a sermon, keenly aware that if peace is a distant sunrise, there is a long night ahead of you. I love those pop-ups. Okay, hi. Same blue as that. So they are... Wow, they're really just tucked into that corner, huh? Welcome, singleton. So, Nastasia Svetlana Yekaterina are a um, furtive tribunal. Uh, their minds are all linked together from, I think, spooky reasons. I think spooky reasons rather than cyber reasons. Open your eyes, Singleton. Singleton is brilliant. I love that as a collective, you know, a, a way that a collective would, you know, denigrate a, a non-hive being, you know, a person. Let's say, let's say a person. Uh, you are not dreaming. You are the dream. The world, uh, the old world is dead. Your old self is dead. So who are you now? We were the meek, the silent, and the accomplice. Individually, we were no one. Together, we are God itself. Woo us, fear us, worship us. These are all acceptable answers to the riddle of what you can do for us. The city adore you. A hand falls onto broken tiles. The old hermit has seen it before, seen all the paths. What is it to live through this again and again and again? Your standing with Nastasia Svetlana Yekaterina has increased because of you all the anchorite. Open your eyes. We offer the world. So it's interesting that the um the the sort of alien leaning texts um those leaders don't actually like the anchorite because the anchorite aren't actually uh, they don't follow the voice anymore. So the the alien-leaning leaders follow the voice because it's giving them the gifts of spooky mutant boys. Whereas the Anchorite seem to have forsaken that, uh, you know, that sort of religion that's that's driven them to, you know, catastrophe, frankly, trying to fight Zephon and ending up on Earth, you know, with all their crashed spaceships and things. Um, so they're, they've given up on that. So although these guys are using all of the sort of weird you know, beasts of war of the aliens and stuff, they aren't actually, they don't like the aliens at all. It's interesting. So, uh, talk carefully to the romantics. Macbeth was a romantic and he listened ill to the three. <laughs> That's very fun. So yeah, it's, it's nice that they, um, they seem to be referencing the, like, our character, which I like. Bring us peace, romantic, and we shall speak in tongues again. Your high standing had a major impact on the decision, whatever the high standing is. Uh, I'm really not sure. I, I need to figure out what that means. I think, I think I figured it out, or was told what it meant, uh, last time I played the demo, but I've forgotten now, so that's good. Um, except peace, yes, I want a future that's settled by words, not wars. Only that would be worth fighting for at all. Yeah, let's get peace with them. Peace with everybody's great. If, if it's because we have a pretty good military that no one wants to fight us, I think we just keep hold of that military by not fighting anyone else, and we just keep up our production. What do you, need, you know, 
So we saw what with the anchorite though. So not what with the thing over there. Anchorite is between the two of us. I have a feeling we're going to be butting heads though, because of our xenophobia, we're going to be dealing with them. Um, right. Cool. Hmm. Now what? Now what? Uh, we'll have a research lab soon. I would like to get a bunch of research and really just smash through technologies. I think that'd be really useful for us. Uh, we can get one killed. Could move a little closer so we can start moving there. We'll unleash them. But uh, the extra damage I think might be useful because we'll kill two of them. And there are more there. I just know we can't like sidle past them without standing in fire, so... Okay, you're healed now. So you know what? You you can come up here and help. And you can spend a turn there healing and then come down here. I reckon. Okay, it looks like we can get through here. There is the bleed that we have to watch out for. Uh, so I might just get them to sit tight there for now. You guys are both looking pretty healthy. And it would be nice just to grab that cyber cache and move out, but... There's a lot of Akron here. So I do want to be careful. If I was going to build another city, where would I build it? Because that would get me more algae. I don't really need that. This would be good, though. Because these still... The, the meat trees still give us... Um, they still give us these meat harvests. If they're a part of your city. So actually building here would be really nice. I think it would really upset the Akron. But if they started throwing units at us and we had a city to shoot back at them. Maybe that would be good. Hard to say. Honestly. But yeah, maybe around here would be nice. There's all this flipping algae, though. You can't build on it, but I think you... Oh, I don't know. I don't actually know if you can clear it. As part of, like, this clear tile action. Uh, does remove bleed. Okay, does remove bleed. So that is good. So, yeah, we could actually get rid of this bleed if we built here. And then we'd have all of these extra... Because we've got, the, like, the techno stuff here. This would give us extra chips. There's extra food and minerals and things around here. But yeah, a lot of extra chips, as well as food from from the the meat. And more food here, too. Interestingly. Because it's brush, I guess? I suppose. Loads of food there, too. Yeah, this all seems pretty good. I think this area might be good for a, for a city, but it's a bit iffy. Uh, I mean, there's another flesh tree there. Pushing out to build a city slightly further away might be nice, but I am tempted to put it there. I just don't think there's any point putting it next to, like, algae. Although that would get us more chips. I don't want to put it too close to our other city, though. That's another problem. Oh, that gives hit points for mechanical units. Oh, I didn't even realise that. Or I did, and I've forgotten up until now. That seems more likely. Alright, kill them all. Oh, hello there. Okay, that's nice. Get an advanced cyber cache. Yes, please. Yum yum. For a short time, some of my lieutenants tried to work out uh, the point of these cash drops. If they gave us resources, it must have been to maximize a specific form of production. If we found units, we assumed we should build strategies around them. I told them to snap out of it. We'd have better luck drawing from a tarot deck. That's strange. Uh, and population's gone up again, so it's going to keep going up. And uh, we aren't building buildings quick enough to actually utilize that population, so we're just losing loyalty. So that's, that's what I was saying. We need to slow down on on them, um, you know, using the, the meat harvest. We can use that on a new settlement. But, alright, so the thing is, we need to do, right? Once we get the Hollow Theatre, which we'll need to build, I mean, a Valkyria would be great to have, actually. Very tempted by that. But, I think we need to get engineers, and then, while they're venturing off to find a location to build another settlement, because we need to research it, and then we need to build them, we can then be getting a construction yard researched, which will allow us to... Uh, well, it's the building, 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 which means you can build buildings faster, which is good. So you can have multiple of these in a settlement. It just lets you build faster and faster. Um, so building one of them initially means that you can build all the other buildings you need a lot quicker, which means you can utilize the population that you're getting. So it's really important to get, and it also means you can kind of change tactics very quickly if you can just build stuff quickly. If you have more buildings in your population, then it means you can move things around to whatever you need. So, you know, you, you never want population doing nothing, but, you know, ideally it's one-to-one, -one, as I think I mentioned before, but it's 
yeah, you want more buildings than population, if anything. You know, that's the <laughs> that's the way around you want it, if any way around. Okay. Oh, you could go and grab that cyber cash now. What are we going to get out of it? A ton of research. Oh, fun. So we're going to get that done really quickly. Um, that's really good. So yeah, 72 accumulated. That only costs... I don't know. I don't know how much that's supposed to cost. It says zero because we're done with it, I suppose. But, okay, all these cost 45. So yeah, we've, we're way over. Today. It does carry over, right? The if it doesn't, decision. that's going to be really upsetting. I'd like to get the next research really fast. This isn't the world I knew. Oh, God. Even getting a couple hits on them. They are, like, way healthier than us. Okay, a lot of the... Uh, all the Anchorites have moved in from over here. And Jace is moving with a bunch of stuff. I think we need to pull back. Hollow Theatre. So this puts up loyalty, which is going to be really useful. We're going to want to build these very quickly. Um, so, an immersive simulation structure, able to give people a shared dream. The best of us used these to escape our hellish world. The worst of us, the foul-minded, they used it for brainwashing. I still don't know what became of some of those experiments. They may still be suffering to this day. So, as you can tell, the... the things we're doing to try and improve life for people is, uh, you know, brainwashing, things like that. So, <laughs> it's just not a good place to be. Um, okay, cool. We get six per turn, but we have 33 accumulated, so we are getting um, yeah, so it does it does carry over. It's just these apparently cost a lot. It really, six turns. I feel like it's suddenly going to I guess it would be actually because yeah, 36. So yeah, still six turns. That would have taken way longer otherwise. I'm not oh boy. Today. So yeah, I think we're just going to pull these guys back. Oh no, we're not aboard Jace, are we? No, we're not. In that case, do I want to run over here and today. grab that before he does? Yeah, all right. I think the answer to that is why not? Oh my god, it's another flesh tree. <laughs> nice. All right, let's pull you back just into that forest. You can just keep keep an eye on things, yeah. Uh, so there's more cyber caches we could grab as well. I think that's worth doing. Um, so yeah, nothing there to worry about. So let's move into here. Good. You're healed up now, so let's bring you down. You whispering whites. Creepy. Uh, and yeah, these militants. I'm going to push you up to here. Uh, I do have grenades. Could kill another one. I mean, I killed another one just by shooting at them. So I think I'll just shoot at them. I won't bother with the grenades. But look, we're not in fire where we are. We're not close enough to the volcano. So we can just take some shots at him. So that's good. Um, so we will have missile teams soon. Good. Uh, yeah, you guys all sit tight. Okay, we're kind of camping at this point. Oh, flip it heck. Hello. I'm glad I'm not at war with these guys. Although, I'd rather they didn't just steal all my kills, but wow, this is a force, huh? This Let's grab that. Cries for help. Oh, dear. I had this mission in a previous... Uh, in one of the demo run-throughs. And I think that's uh, Abkluth up there. Hunting. Very scary. An intermittent radio signal, faint, distant voices, and sounds of gunfire. A small group of human survivors has got bogged down in the wilds and is dire need of help. They beg, demand, threaten. Your soldiers know this group. They are fierce. Uh, they are fierce fighters known as the Splenetics, and will be a great help when we can reach them. But if we ignore them, they will never forget it and will hold a grudge as long as they live. Let's help them. You take the radio mic from your aid and personally assure the survivors that help is on the way. Uh, okay, we have ten turns to recover three of them. So this gives us additional units, but you have to spread out a lot to go grab them, so you end up probably losing more than three units by doing this, so that's fine. Also, if you guys can hear a bunch of popping, it's because there are fireworks going on. And, um... I mean, I'm looking... Oh yeah, no, I think the mic is picking them up, but it might be getting cancelled out later. So anyway, sorry if you can hear a bunch of popping. But, um, it's been going on for a while, and it doesn't seem to be wanting to stop. Anyway, um, now you just have to stick to your word. Can your troops get to them in time? The route is tangled. The enemy is numerous and splenetics are far off. Now that you promised help, if you fail, who knows what they'll do if they survive. Well, there's some right there. That's not so bad. No such thing as safe anymore. 
So let's grab this watchtower. Marvellous. So that's given us good line of sight. And uh, yeah, just we'll go say hi to those splenetics then. And hopefully they'll survive. Cool, so that's one. Where are the rest? There. And... Oh, and there. Oh wow, these are all real easy. Yeah, none of this is all that tricky. Let's move you up too. Cool. Alright, next turn we'll have three more units. They're all splenetics. I feel like they're just... I, I feel like they're just militants. I feel like they're the same. Yeah. But we'll see. Um, what else do we find? Oh, Abkluth Dragoons! We haven't found these guys yet. Uh, they look like they're, they're all in... Um, Cobra. Is what they look like. They look like they're, they're in Cobra. You know, G.I. Joe. Although... When you look at these guys, actually from this angle, with the spikes on them, uh, they actually look like Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so a lot of a lot of 80s stuff going on here. So the Abkluth Dragoons. When they crashed, the Akron brought creatures with them, monstrous lizard things, tearing Earth wildlife apart. Given their docility around the Akron, I suspect they were meant for pets or food, but that didn't stop the voice cults using them for war. Fun. So biological melee bleed walkers that can take control of enemy Abkluth. That's a cool thing they can do there. So they did that with them. Yeah, really fun. And horrifying. These guys have a huge army. That's like a lot of stuff. Very fast moving too. So yeah, pretty pretty scary. Hello there. A bunch of other nonsense over here. Some injured. Makes me wonder what they've been fighting. Uh, oh, you can't get close enough, really? We'll make it it's a bit annoying. Alright, well, let's kill one. And I'm going to do a recon. Okay, come on, recon. Nice. I love that ability, it's really cool. I don't see these guys as useful. These are all roads. Maybe, maybe I want to build my city over here instead. That might actually be better. I don't know what's over here, though, in this area. But, um... It means we're not encroaching on other factions' territory, because if they just suddenly get really, really no hostile, I don't think we're going to enjoy that very much. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm not dying today. Okay, yeah, that's everybody. All right, you guys sit tight. Um, Okay, you know what? Let's sit there, just so we can have eyes on all the bleed. Oh yeah, you should probably shoot them. You know what? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna let them come to me. Um, if they do come to me, I shoot them great. Otherwise, I think these guys are gonna jump them. It's hard to say, but they might. Okay, let's end the turn. Yeah, they're all bickering. Ooh, okay, the Akrin are all showing up. The Akrin are all showing up to fight these guys. Interesting. I kind of want them to wipe each other out. I'm going to grab this human cache. They have an Exusia Marauder. Hmm. Interesting. Hello there. Before the Akron arrived, I swear I saw these on TV. Giant hovercrafts used for rapid transport or salvaging oil rigs and broken down tankers, I think. They're far from the sea now, though. I don't think they had a missile battery back then, either. Okay. Alright, what do we get? Minerals. Yay! God, you are in so much trouble, aren't you? Um, let's kill a couple of them. And you need to run home. Oh, missile teams! We also missile teams, they can actually shoot from here, which is pretty fun. Uh, so they only do half damage if they've moved the missile teams. You can see, heavy, minus 50% accuracy if unit has moved. So, you know, that's the, that's the trade-off. I'm tempted to grab this and camp it. I'm tempted to grab that and camp it. Uh, I can kill a couple of them. And I can kill another one. Which, yeah, I think I can hold up against a couple more attacks. Although I think busters are pretty good against... I think they might be quite good against vehicles. They've got two armor piercing. So, you know, a little better than these guys that I think don't. Yeah. All right, splenetics, let's go. Hey, buddy, it's time to splen. 
That's what they say. It's splen splenetting time. I don't know what the word means. Someone did look it up last turn. You know, I had this event happen. In a demo playthrough. Oh, I moved you back like a flipping loony. That's so silly of me. Alright, well, I got two of the splenetics. We'll get the other one. We have nine turns left. It's worked out much easier than, than any other time we've done this. Uh, more missile teams. We have so many militants now. We just need we just need a bunch of missiles, I think. So missiles great. I mean, they got um, if you just have them as a sentry, you know they do double damage to these guys. Like you can see the damage there uh, down in the corner. It'd be twice that if they hadn't moved. And they got three range, so you can just sort of put them around as sentries. And uh, yeah, and they got pretty good armor piercing, right? Yeah, five armor piercing. So if it's a tank or like a big dog, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's going to do some work. You know, it's going to do some damage to him at a good range. So, yeah, that's pretty pretty good to have. And, of course, they have one higher range than cities, so you can just position them all and start firing. Unfortunately, you position them all, start firing, but then you need to position something else that will get shot at, or else uh, the enemy can just churn out units and run them right up to your rockets, which, um, you know, obviously makes them very vulnerable. But, you know, cities do a lot of damage, so if your source of damaging them is out of range, then they can just keep up the fight, which is nice. You know, pretty handy. Pretty damn handy. Okay. I clicked on the map by accident, and that's fine. So let's see. Uh, oh, we need more buildings. I hadn't built any, queued up any buildings to build. Let's take this over. I think that's the way to go. Um, and then I'm, I'm really going to want to build a hollow theatre. We also really need a habitation block. So let's build a habitation block, then a hollow theatre. Yeah. We're doing our own power at the moment. Now that we've built that. So. Uh, oh, no, we don't have a hat block. We're 14. We've got 14. We're right on the hat block then. So yeah, let's build a hollow theatre. We probably need another barracks, because this is still very slow. So I think that might be the plan. I think we maybe build another barracks, then maybe a research laboratory as well? Maybe we do that? Maybe. Alright, everyone's backing off, but these militants... Oh, they're surrounded. Okay, they might be about to take a lot of punishment. Just like these guys might. But we got a couple of overwatches. Oh, good. Was that just one of them having fun? No, okay, both of you guys firing. But still, that's really good. So they're going to be dares. They'll probably send more next turn. Uh, okay, these guys did come out to help my militants. So, thanks, lads. Thank you. That's cool. Uh, and yeah, let's move you towards there. Next turn, we'll be able to get these guys. I feel like we might upset them. Because, like, we might be near their city is the problem. They might not like that much. Um, still more just like random dudes running around here. I'm not happy about. But, yeah, let's start trying to weave you through here, shall we? Yeah, let's move you in. No, I can't quite kill him. That's okay. I'll have you do it. And then we'll have at least one of these will be in half range when the enemy comes in. Uh, if the enemy comes in to attack us again. And yeah, we'll move you in too. And you. And... I'll let them run away if they want to run away. I'll let them run if they want. But if they come close, it'll be Overwatch time. It'll be Overwatch time. Uh, so... Can grab another Cyber Cache. Don't really want the Abcan to wreck me. So I think I'm going to head to that microchip fabricator, get a bit of health back, and then I'll run and grab that cyber cache. Be a waste, wouldn't it? Just leave it there. And yeah, I'm not going to shoot them. I'm, I'm going to let these guys bully each other. Oh, and I guess you could move somewhere more useful. Do I want to grab this? Like, they're going to be using the algae, so I think we deny them the algae, and that'll help. Though, it'll help these guys. I don't think I want to help them. But, for now, I think it's maybe useful. 
Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's send a turn. Stop chasing me. What did I ever do to you? Oh, a bunch of doggos running up to us too. Uh, that's just rude. That's just rude, mate. That's just rude. Oh, I don't like that. Weird that the Anchorite get to go before the other, like, players do. That I find unusual. Uh, some had formal training, most didn't. Scientists, construction workers, technicians, the thing that distinguished the people we called engineers from everyone else was that they had the skills to get the job done. Whatever the job, the ones who hadn't, well, they weren't fa they weren't around anymore. Uh, biomech infantry that found cities. Uh, construct roads, clear tiles, and repair and buff mechanical units. So, plenty of good stuff from them. So, uh, that's fun. That's where the, the practical romantic gets this. Improves diplomatic standing with the chief death over time. So the idea... Yeah, I think the idea that we have um, is that might make, makes right mentality, you know? The, the chief death and her reavers have been... They've been able to live out here. I think we, we take advantage of that. I think, I think we respect that strength, I think, is uh, what's happening here. Even though they're a bunch of, like you know, crazy murderers. So yeah, I think maybe we do that at some point. Um, Hollow Theatre can apply performance broadcast to allied units to put up their morale. That's pretty fun. Now let's see. Yeah, Construction Yard, it's got to be, right? we got to get that, because I actually I really want to get Construction Yard uh, here as well. So, you know, that's a thing. Uh, Hollow Theatre? Ooh, uh, alright, Hollow Theatre, then acquire a tile. I know that seems unusual. I know that seems a little bit weird. We're gonna go Hollow Theatre, acquire a tile, and then that means a construction yard will be finished researching once we've acquired that tile, and then we can build a construction yard down here too. I think that's the way to do it. And then we can build a barracks much quicker. As well as every other building, you know? So I think that's the way to go, because yeah, our loyalty is starting to be in the negative now, so we're losing 2%. Uh, productivity per turn now. Which, personally, I'm not happy about. I'm not dying today. Uh, you could kill a rab clues, but I think I'll let them get close. Um, like, one, two, three? Like, if they move there, these guys could shoot. But the bleed's probably in the way. Uh, and yes, we lost those militants. I'm not dying today. But, we found some more. And they're ready to splen. You have reached the remaining splenetic units at the last possible moment. After a short rest, your troops suggest that the handful of surviving splenetic troopers could be good recruits. We've already done that. Uh, they're grateful to the rescue and happy to help join our cause. Okay, let's um, let's just get out of here, yeah. But we got more units. We have so many just infantry around here, which is really good um, to have. But, the annoying thing is, right, look, if you if you look, okay, I'm trying to put them on minimum range and it's not even showing me, but okay, so it'll be like 2.4 damage per hit, and that's just not much, that's not really enough to kill a whole lot. Uh, what would be good is if we had uh, anti-armor grenades, I think they would help us destroy, um, I think it would help us destroy those, uh, like, whatever they're called, the, the bastions or whatever, the, the main city buildings. So I am wondering, do I want to grab any more of this stuff soon? I mean, administration complex to get extra um, influence would be good. Extra minerals on cliffs, swamps, uh, I mean, we need vehicles, definitely. We need to get automated factories very soon. But there are a bunch of little bonuses. I just don't feel I'm in any other position to get those. Um, it's an errant uh, recruiters, though. That will give us extra production for barracks, which is nice. So there's stuff there's stuff available for us to get that's going to give us little bonuses. Um, I think what we're going to want to do is probably build another research lab um, in one of these spots. Again, I think we want to have a couple of them at least. I really want to just smash that because we're getting really good population increases. And so I think we can afford to build a bunch of cities. 
and just like get production up really high. So the the increase in production that we're getting, I want to spend on research. You know, the increase over like our enemies. I want to put that into research so we can get ahead of the curve. So that way our production is going towards like stuff that can just wreck them. That's what I want to do. I kind of want to I want to win the arms race because it seems like we're doing pretty well on production. Like it seems like we have a bigger army than most. I just wonder how long our army is going to stay relevant, seeing as how it's mostly pretty basic units. So it's a tough one, but um, yeah, I think we're doing really well. I think we're doing really well. I think we're holding fast. We've got a good little chunk of territory. Like when you look at the amount of map we have, it feels like the amount of map we should have. We're not, you know, we haven't expanded out like a lot more over over what should be our territory, but we've we got it very safely. I feel very secure in this area, which I think is good. I think we could expand without too much work, you know? I think we could just like move these guys forward and it would it would start taking more territory. We just need some rockets to back him up so we can actually destroy the city quicker. So we'll see, but yeah, I'm... Hang on, we did just get engineers. Oh, you get them from the construction yard. Okay, that's really interesting, but also that's going to take ages. That is really going to slow down production then, isn't it? I had completely forgotten about that. Uh... If it's from the construction yard, I think we need to wait until we have construction yard. I think we should have done that one first, because that will actually let us train engineers faster. So I think we did that in the wrong order. But hey, that's part of learning a new game. Um, so be it. Guys, if you're enjoying this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. We were not ready for their divine judgment. We were tested, and almost everyone just failed.